Hi everybody, my name is Jim Scheel. I'm the CEO of Artisan Agility, and this is another video in our series of leading virtual teams. This video specifically is on boosting your own productivity and how you can boost your own team's productivity at the same time. There's some very simple skills that you can learn that we wanna talk about just briefly in this video, okay? Number one, if, if, since we're working from home, the, the interruptions are immense. I mean, it was bad enough when we are in the office and there's always someone going, hey, you got a second? Hey, you got a second? Okay, that was bad enough. Now it's like you're home and the TV's on and the phone's ringing and the kids are asking for something. And I mean, you, you have to deal with the kids. <laughs> you, can't, you can't not. But when, when the kids are either they're napping or they're watching a movie or they're doing some chores or whatever it is you got them doing, you got to be able to go heads down and focus and just just go nuts and get stuff done and do it right and do it fast we've got to make the most of our time okay what i want to do is give you a couple hints that will help you do that all right number one plan your day up front okay when you either get up in the morning or before you shut down the night before figure out what do you need to get done the, the, on the next day what's the first thing you're going to do what's your highest priority goal what's that one thing that needs to be done okay block out some time for it all right no more than 90 minutes now if you need two 90 minute blocks then schedule two 90 minute blocks but separate them by 15 minutes i'll talk about the 90 minute thing in just a minute uh just schedule as many as you need but listen those meetings are non-negotiable appointments with yourself or possibly even with other team members because your team can do the same thing they can say, well, we're going to work on this backlog item first thing in the morning, 9 a.m., and we're going for two 90-minute blocks, okay? And, hey, that could be all that everybody needs to understand what they have to do, all right? But schedule those times up front. Otherwise, you're going to sit down, and then this is going to get in your way. There's some emails to answer. Or I've got to make a phone call. Oh, look, there's a text message from so-and-so. By the time you're done getting through all that stuff that should have taken a couple minutes, or at least you thought it would take a few minutes, you're halfway through your morning wondering, what have I done today, okay? And the, the one thing you don't wanna do is have this whole COVID-19 situation end and we all go back to work and we're so far behind and so much money has been lost that businesses start scaling back and they actually create sort of a, an echo recession after COVID-19 is over, okay? We gotta protect ourselves from that kind of an economic mess after this is over. And we do that by being as productive or, if you ask me, more productive than we were when we were in the office. I mean, think of the possibilities. If we're more productive than we are in the office, maybe we get to, get, get to work from home more if, if that works for you. Not everybody likes to do work from home. But if that works for you, hey, why not? Businesses are going to look at it and go, hey, it's a productivity booster. Let's do it. So I don't want to get too far off track. So plan your day up front, okay? Figure out what you want to get done, your top two priorities, 90-minute blocks, and, and then go. Sit down that morning and go at it, okay? Now, 90 minutes. Why 90 minutes? Studies have shown that the human brain basically turns to mush after 90 minutes. I know it's not a technically accurate term, but that's the basic idea. Now, some of us, every now and then, you enter what's called a state of flow. And you could literally go two, three, four hours, heads down, full on, just banging stuff out and not even realize what time it is until you look up, okay? Um, and hey, if you get there, great. I mean, if, if you're, if, by the time you realize you blasted through your 90 minute deadline, it'll be way beyond 90 minutes, so don't worry about it. But after 90 minutes, if you're, if you're looking up going, you know, are the 90 minutes up yet? Are the 90 minutes up yet? That's why you need that 90 minute timer, okay? Or 90 minute deadline. So you work for 90 minutes. If 90 minutes aren't up, you keep working, you keep at it. Trust me, it'll be rough at first, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, all right? Then the 90-minute timer goes off, and you got 15 minutes. Get up, get out of here, get out of the office, go outside if you can, uh, go, go talk to the kids for a couple minutes, get a drink, get a cup of coffee, whatever you got to do. Take 15 minutes, come back, another 90 minutes, go at it, okay? So 90-minute blocks, on non-negotiable, okay, appointments with yourself or with other team members. Okay, another thing you can do. I'm using Zoom, okay? I love Zoom. It works really well for me. You could use Zoom or GoToMeeting or Microsoft Teams or you name it, okay? Use your favorite tool. Uh, as a Scrum Master, working with a Scrum team, if your team is doing what I recommended in the previous video, 
they're only working on one or two backlog items at the same time. Set up a separate Zoom meeting for each backlog item, and then encourage your developers to jump into that meeting when they're working on that backlog item. That way, everybody working on it, they're there, they can talk to one another, they can help each other out, they can debug code, they can write tests, they can write documentation, but they're all right there and they're in the same context. And that's going to save you a lot of time and productivity. And if someone has to switch, then they exit that Zoom meeting, they jump into another one, and there they are, working with other people who are on the same thing, okay? So you can use Zoom to do this too. Slack or chat windows or anything that allows me to send you a text message that pops up on your desktop and interrupts you. Get rid of it, okay? There's nothing good about being able to easily interrupt somebody when it comes to productivity, all right? It's just not a good way to get work done. Now, if you need some way to say, hey, I integrated this, it's ready. Hey, I finished this, it's ready. Hey, I tested this, fine, then use Slack. I mean, those are messages that people don't need to see until they're ready to look, okay? But if you need to tell somebody who's actively working on a backlog item that I'm done and you can go, Slack is not the way to do it. Jump onto that Zoom session and tell them you're ready to go, and then they'll go. Anything that allows you to easily interrupt somebody, pop up on their desktop, get rid of it, okay? Don't use it, you don't need it, it's not necessary, it doesn't help. All that stuff you've heard about, well, it lets me communicate. No, it doesn't let you communicate better. It doesn't let you communicate more easily or faster. It's just annoying, okay? Um, another point, uh, you're working from home. Um, enroll your family in what's going on. Let them know what you're doing, okay? Um, the more they understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, particularly the kids, all right? The more they understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, the more they'll help you do it. It won't always be perfect. There will always be the knock on the door when you're trying to uh, talk to somebody in a Zoom session or like I am shooting a video. But the more your family and more whoever's in the household understands what you're doing and why, the more they will want to, they'll be signed up to help you out, okay? Uh, and the last thing I wanna to talk to you about productivity is um, look at your office in your home as your office, okay? No matter where you set it up, whether you're like Seth Meyers, shooting a closer look uh, episode in his hallway, uh, or uh, you're me and I'm, I'm lucky enough to have an, an actual room I can use because I'm a little older and my kids have moved out. Whatever you gotta do, when you're in the office, you're working. And when you're done, you get out of the office, okay? Don't mix them. If you've got home stuff to do, do it outside your office. Do it away from your workstation. The more those two things bleed into one another, the more your productivity is gonna be impacted in a number of different ways. So let's make this work. This COVID situation sucks, okay? There's no doubt about it. And a lot of us have a lot of loved ones out there in high-risk groups and we're really, really worried about it, okay? Um, we can get through this if we do things right. So be well, be safe, stay strong. <laughs>